Hey there viewers, uh, Zero Gear Plus here, welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer. Zero Gear Smith's Adventures. Um, I came back to Grass Valley to get a medical herb really quick, and I'm gonna be on my way back to the, uh, Soul, whatever, the Mountain of Souls in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys that spot that has the, uh, Iron Armor. The Iron Armor's right there, there's like 50 gems in this thing, and then you get experience from this fairy. But yeah. That was there forever, and I never noticed. So, kind of important if you're looking for defense. I mean, I've beaten this game enough times that it's not necessary, but if you're a first-timer, you might want the Iron Armor. Anyway, now back to the Mount Souls. Where... what was I doing? I'm gonna do that every so often to make the thing refocus. Are you still sleeping? Oh, I could always do that instead of going to here, I could talk to somebody. Which I might need to talk to people, I... Slowly forgetting that the... Nah. You guys go right ahead. I don't care. I don't think it leads you anywhere. Oh, here's something useful. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I thought... Uh, I'm going to have to go down here. No, I have to go up. Right? Right. Talk to him real quick! Okay. Magic. Okay, basically all that happens there is you say, my, my wife was able to use magic. Then you talk to her and she transports you over to there and that mushroom tells you a secret. I talked to him already. Um, don't exactly know what I need to do. Well, I need to save any time anyway. Um, I made quite a bit of progress, so it's about time to save. And I wish to continue. Do not give up. Don't worry, I won't. And I guess I'm just gonna have to go back through area, pick it up where I left off. Uh oh. Ah, oh, shoot. Detour. <laughs> Sorry, viewers, I wasn't thinking. Hey, mushroom. Well. Yeah, this place kind of. Well, actually. Um, in the new Thundercats series, um, there's an episode where they're in an area that, where, um, these plant-like creatures, they grow, they, they're born, grow old, and die within a whole day. So I thought that was kind of cool when, well, I didn't think it was cool, it was sad, but, um, not to them, it's their way of life. That whole day to them is like a lifetime. But anyway, um, it reminded me so much of this level. kill you. Hate those things. Oh no, you better not start fading on me now. I don't know what it is about this level. Or even maybe this game in general. There's just something about this game and my camera and it just doesn't want to focus. Maybe it's the mixture of that and the camera. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into it. I mean, it catches itself, but I don't want it to have to, you know? I think these things come back every time. Yeah, I got a... Uh, I told you guys in the beginning of the episode, I got one off screen. Any left? Nope. So now we just go to this area. 
And this is literally the last dungeon board in this game. Well, not game, but in this area, at least. Fairly short level. Fire wizards. Hate them. Oh, great. We go over here where I kill blobs. A mushroom. Not moving. Is it dead? No, viewers, it's sleep. Just kind of take for granted that when something's not, when something that moves around quite often isn't moving, that generally means it's asleep. And, uh, literally, that's the boss. But I have storyline stuff, plot-based stuff that I have to do. So, um, I have to do plot stuff before I can do that. So, things, this combination of stuff usually never gives me this much trouble. And why are there so many wizards? Bothersome. Okay, they're dead. Just like before. They done? Bad time to start charging up magic flare. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, why are you... Please tell me that wasn't... Uh... What's the phrase I'm looking for? Uh, faded. All that time. Why do you do this game? I'm so sorry, I'm trying to make it through this level as fast as physically possible so that you guys don't have to experience my technical difficulties here all the time. No. There. Make sure you don't walk around in a dream or you'll get lost. Now remember what that one mushroom told us about um, that secret? Uh, well, not so much a secret, but he said that if you should come across a sleeping mushroom, go back to where you saw it in that in his dream. Go figure. Um, actually, now I can go back to uh, mm, game. Bad day. You do not want to make me mad. And we just go back to here. To that final spot in Loon. And I completely forget about those things because I don't like them. Why? I was doing so well, and then just all of a sudden... Where are you? There you are. Six monster layers remaining? Most of them are connecting passages, but... Alright. Come over here. You better die, stupid thing. Oh, great. Green jelly blob things I gotta kill. 
At least these are easy. I don't care if I go over my time a little bit. Three more monster layers. I should be able to wrap that up in about a minute or so. Oh, nothing left over here. Which means I go down. Am I right? Continue to go down, and this went that way. Okay, where am I going? This way, I'd assume. Yes. Okay. Okay, maybe I won't be able to beat this area on a... Excuse me. Maybe I won't be able to beat this area in a couple minutes. Two remaining monster layers! What the heck are they? Not there. This is frustrating. I knew they were here. How'd you like that? Oh, great. And back to these. I'm not at all worried about going over my time a little bit, viewers. My average time is you know, ten and a half minutes, as you guys have seen. But I can do up to fifteen minutes now, so... I'm not too worried. Wish they'd move a little faster, you know? Aw, oh, if only I had a thought for a split second, I could have had it. How many are these things? That took long enough. Last one! Thank God. And of course we get something for it. Another grandma. Whatever. Okay, viewers, um, before I get any more irritated with flying monsters around my head, um, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fan- Why do I do that on Let's Play Soul Blazer? But until then, have a good day.